When we started this bodybuilding journey, my calories were at 2,000 and I looked like this. Now, my calories are almost at 4,000 and I looked like this. I've never done one of these videos in my life. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna do a full day of eating. I only eat twice a day and it's this. This is what I've been eating every fucking day. Went three grams over. No, oh, take no. it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yeah, I'll give you my honest full day eating, but even more importantly, I wanna talk to you guys about how I kinda got over all my eating disorders. Cause I went through so much of it. When I first started lifting, I was anorexic as fuck. I lost like 50 pounds in two months. I got obese like a billion times in my life. Cause that one bite of peanut butter turned to half the jar every single night. Yeah, I also wanna talk about today how I went from that complete binge eating to basically eating the exact same thing every day. And even more importantly, having the best mental health toward diet and just overall life that I've ever had before. Huh? What's the goal at the end? Well, the goal at the end of it is the same as every fucking video. I need to provide you a goddamn Giga Chad lesson. Dude, fuck, so good. Bodybuilders would want to go four meals a day. Oats and protein powder in the morning, chicken for lunch, midday snack, beef, and then night salmon or something. I'm just lazy. I don't want to prep at all. I think any eating disorder comes from unresolved traumas in your life. Eating disorders is, a, is like a cope. You eat, you get dopamine, and you feel good. So you just want, you want all at once. Like you, as a kid, when I was going through like a lot of like personal stuff, for some reason I attached to food as like just a huge source of comfort. That's why I got so fat. I think that's why a lot of people go fat. And then you, know, you logically know, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. This isn't good. Sometimes you couldn't, you can't even control yourself. You just keep going. Cause that's like from your earliest days when you were feeling sad or you're feeling bad, that's what you did. I think the way to get over binge eating, most important, forgive yourself. I think a lot of people don't forgive themselves. And the problem with not forgiving yourself, it's a negative thought to hate and blame yourself. And that negativity makes you feel even worse. And what does you want when you're negative about things? You want comfort. You're gonna go back to the thing that gives you the comfort, the binge eating, the drugs. Sometimes you have to put yourself in a fucked up like headspace to do shit. This is what gets me going. Oh, it so bad. I'm gonna preach some bullshit type of mood today, you know what I mean? No matter how happy you are, how, like how much no demon motivation you have, it is your job as a man, your job as an aspiring Giga Chad. To put in the work, I could have came in today and been like, oh, you know what? I'm not in a bad mood, there's no demons to fight. I'm just gonna take a chill. Fuck, can you imagine? Can you imagine I go home? What would I feel like? Gay. Okay, we'll see how this feels. It feels good, we're going up. Woo! Are you kidding me, man? I just helped that. Going up. Fuck. There's a PR possibility, I feel it. This doesn't end until you and your family are dead. I need to think about something really fucked with my head. Thanks. The ultimate goon. Dude, fuck. I didn't sleep enough at all. Every rep I ask myself, am I being a bitch? And then when I feel that moment, like I'm being a bitch, I say five more. Fuck, why did I say? You can't be shit, I'm a murder bird. Oh. It's 10 o'clock before I say a word. Baby, oh my god, like I feel every fiber in my chest. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's gonna be a good workout. I always say to you guys, I'll never get, call you guys my fans. It's current. My army. The fuck, what are we, going to war? We're gonna create a real cool one. You guys will now be, you guys will be now referred to as my Janus. Shadek, can you explain what Janu means? Sweetheart. All of you guys, my Janus. Comment Janu if you guys agree to these terms, because I don't want to unconsensually Janu you. 
J A N U, Ja Lu. 15 to 20 reps, three second tempo on the way down. No being a fucking bitch. For all the Ja Lu's out there. feeling than like wanting to have quit five reps ago but you tell yourself you have to keep going for your Janu army So what's the move, Damien? What are we hitting now? Let's see. Lateral raise. Sweater weather after dark remix. Slowed version. I'm, this is like what you what I used to listen to when I was sad as fuck. This is my favorite exercise. Oh, Jumpers is the killer of man. And that phrase helped me through so much. I remember in like past relationships, she's like, like comfort's the killer of man. And I say that to myself because I didn't want to get cheated on again. And it drove me so much, helped me accomplish so much. However, that like mentality does get like a little toxic where you're just like doing shit just to do it for the validation of other people to not think you're a bitch. But that gets soul sucking. So instead, it's like don't ever be comfortable, but like you have to push yourself in whatever way is most truly going to evolve you at that time. So for me right now, a big theme of the week is like imperfection is the new perfection. Now we're upping these YouTube videos to twice a week, hopefully one day three times a week. Oh, I want each video to be perfect like it used to be like each frame, everything. But sometimes like the, you gotta like the, the challenge, the discomfort might to actually be like to work less and enjoy more present time in the world. Fuck Aristotle. Yeah. I gotta stop being stuck at the same fucking weight like a little bitch. I wanna be lateral raising like 35s with great form. Start a therapy channel or something. What? Where I talk about like psychology and therapy and then. Yeah, but then if you wanted to start a therapy channel, you'd have to get like a license. And no, but I think if we called the channel like illegal therapy, then we'd have the free reins to, you know, once every day or two spew a ton of bullshit in my car. I think we could even put it in the description of this. Maybe we'll make like a little brand about it, like that. We, we'll sell something like, about it. Yeah. Maybe like a $6,000 alpha male course. One more, one more, one more. One more. Come on. You said one more. Let's go. What the fuck's up, Drell? You sure you want me to open you up? You're already squirting. Go ahead. You can try her first. No, you go first. You really want to share her? Okay, this is so. Oh! Fuck, that was so loud. <laughs> Ghost energy. That's what Ghost energy. energy. I'm right here, nigga. Lisa Hand. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, what? 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 You know you're I'm right. a nigga with an attitude. Thanks to y'all. More, come on, come on. Fuck, I love this. I actually goon so hard this one. Holy shit. 
really trying to get two plays for eight on this stuff. I think I'm at five now, but I think I can do it. Oh, yeah. I'm a where I want to smoke. Fuck that. I'm a joke who I want to joke. Fuck that. I'm a ride where I want to ride. Fuck I'm that. I'm a nigga for life, so I'm a nigga till I decide. I'm a smoke where I want to smoke. Fuck I'm that. that. I'm a joke who I want to joke. Fuck that. that. I'm a ride where I want to ride. Fuck that. Cause I'm a nigga for life, so I'm a motherfucking nigga till I decide. Yeah, I love it. A pencil, a pen, or a Glock. I'm the original, subliminal, subterranean, titanium, criminal, minded, swift. DRE with that fuck a bitch shit. Fuck a bitch. A couple of notes to get your hog tied and rope. Dope like tons of coke. Cut throat. You don't want the pistols to whistle. Candy paint and powder. I make holes pop collars. <laughs> Goddamn hoes, here we go again. Fucking with Ren, uh -huh. playing the win. He got the coke in hand, juice and gin. Same shit you was fucking with way back then. What? We keep it cracking from the act into the Jack and G. To what would you have done if I just like couldn't have, if I couldn't move? I've been working with you long enough to believe in you that you could lift it up. But what if just, I'm just so retarded, I'm like, one more it's again. So you would have done nothing. It's, it's, a, it's a bitch mentality. If you wanted to die, I think we've already all of them, like we've been, we would have been dead already. We would not be here if we uh, had You die. can't say that. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Because it's my channel. Yeah. And my Janus. Arnold wrote to do the uh, the stuff that you're doing right now. Do you think he'd be think? bigger? Yes. Yeah, I was about to talk shit, but I was like, yo, he's really inspirational. Arnold? Yeah, I taught him about hard work for sure. Well, who is he? Which Arnold? There's so many Arnolds. The guy from Pumping Iron. Never seen it. What are you, what are you asking? Like, what movies was he? He was like in a... Terminator. I, I know people by the last name. He's like Mr. Olympia, seven time champion. That's a weird last name, dude. No, that's not his last name, but like, he was just Mr. Olympia. You can search it up. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what his last- like, I go by last- Arnold Schwarzenegger Genetically blessed Fuck me views away He was crying again Every post there is a camera Heard it? You think you're special You do I can see it in you That's what I would look like, guys I can see it when you laugh at me Come in, my friend. How is it going? We're coming in! Hello it oh, smells too much in here, you're allowed in here. And switch. Down on me, walk around on me. Just one. And switch. <laughs> Grab the dragon balls. This time I'm gonna let it all go out. This time I'm gonna stand up and shout. I'm gonna go face my way. It's my way. My way on the highway. This time I'm gonna let it all go out. <laughs> hey guys, what are we what are we doing today? We're going to dinner with the boys. What are you going to have for today? <laughs> pasta. It's a pasta restaurant. Any favorite on the menu? You've been there multiple times. Oh, my favorite is the short rib parpadelli. You're going to have to order that today? No. No, no, no I'm good. Oh, what are you what are you having man? Lin beef uh, pomodoro uh tagretale with a little bit of uh, spinach and uh, Costco Montreal poulet seasoning. That sounds oddly familiar. If the cops come pull us over for speeding, what's your reaction? Ew. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Should I get the spaghetti carbonara and ask if it's a low and high calorie versions of it? <laughs> Listen, Daniel, if you don't know what to get, there's a book I know that has over 200 recipes. The feature yeah. for today, yeah. Could I get that one? Are you good? Ah, uh, yes. I'm, I'm great. That didn't sound very enthusiastic. I didn't even want the, the we prosciutto. Also to start. Yeah, him and I are going to share. If you guys are down to share, do you want to get the uh, burrata? Oh, dude, why not? Throw that in there. 100%. You, you want to share it? Yeah, let's do that instead. Oh, man, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold up, you guys should put the food right here. Yeah. Here, let's move out. Well, we, we gotta have a first bite. There you go. All right, take a picture, take a picture, and send it to Jai right now. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to take a bite? I'm okay. Sure. Uh, you know what's funny? There's three pieces here. What are you doing? Don't be disrespectful. There's an extra piece right there. Censor everything I say, but I'm actually saying really nice things about Jarrell, but it sounds like I'm saying racial things. Jarrell, man, you are just such a <laughs> You're so <laughs> such a <laughs> person. Man, I <laughs> But you're just so <laughs> You're a <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm so good. I'm good. <laughs> wow. wow. You think they'll let me heat it up? Yeah, I got Maybe you. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it a second. Wow. Ooh. Fuck you guys. Oh. David, tell, tell her when to stop. 
Oh, we got yeah, we got him like half a cheese roll the other day, and he's almost done. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I, I can do it if you want. Like, Hi. I think maybe two more strokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One and two. Beautiful. <laughs> we should get him an arm pump after. We can go around the same amount as him. That's cool. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Mmm. So good. Mm. Here come the oh, airplane. Here's the tension tower. Let me do what I do with my dick. Hold on. The lust. Oh, oh fuck, fuck! I missed. Off. I missed. <laughs> It'd be really funny if we ate the food, right? And we made Damien pay for it. <laughs> That'd be such a good prank, dude. Cookbook again, now on sale. Hey there, cookbook. I'd just like to thank you for dinner. Without your ass, I'd be starving. Wait, what is right? What are we thinking again? The cookbook for the dinner. You're the talking eye. about the cookbook again that has 200 recipes for full and high calorie QR codes included. For my whole life, whether I was fat, skinny, bulking, cutting. Until now, I had terrible body dysmorphia. But for the first time in my life during this period, I've never been so confident in how I look. Like you guys saw in the posing today, I, I look at myself with a, this genuine smile every single morning. Why would I be so secure with how I look right now? Why am I so happy fucking walking around this hot gut after eating 4,000 fucking calories? And I realized it's because, because I don't think people get body dysmorphic just because they look like shit. I think the reason I got body dysmorphic so much is because I, I was lying to myself and I wasn't actually putting in the work that I knew I could. But now knowing every single day that I'm, I'm doing this shit, that I'm actually working towards something, it doesn't matter what the genetics are. It doesn't matter if that guy looks better. I, I'm so proud. The smile I get <laughs> looking at my own body transform is more happiness than I've ever gotten on any drugs or anything like that. The one take away the one giga chat lesson of the day. If you have things in your life that you're insecure about, winning isn't just instantly pretending to become secure with it. It's putting in the honest battle every single day to grant yourself the gifts that you weren't given. That's just a lesson to myself to stop being lazy and this is proving it. Good luck, boys.